So welcome back crew and welcome back for another video. Hey guys, so today we're in the shop, still working on a 55 shop truck guys, but we're gonna take a little break and we're gonna have a little fun guys. We're gonna go ahead and fabricate our engine covers. These engine covers is pretty much a staple for all of my vehicles guys. I pretty much got them down pat to how I like them and what I like to do on them. So today I'm gonna show you guys how you can make your own engine cover in your garage guys. So stay tuned and let's get into it. All right guys, so first of all, this is the 5.3 Vortec motor that we're gonna be making an engine cover. So if you guys aren't familiar with the engine covers, you can go back to one of my previous videos on how I did it with Blue Ash, guys. So we're gonna basically make a template, which I already have, which I use on my other vehicles, but we're gonna put it over here and take some measurements, and then we're gonna come up with a design how we want to create on this truck. So, all right, so I'm gonna show you the type of material that I use to make this template. Uh, basically you can go to your big box doors um, and this is go to the uh, roofing section and this is just really thin sheet metal and it comes in a big roll. And this is what we're gonna use to make our other template. And then we'll turn this template and we'll get 18 gauge metal and then we'll form it and we'll use a brake to actually form it and everything. I already started ripping this here apart. This is the other side here. Alright. So this is the rough of the template that we're gonna have. So these two lines going down here, that's gonna be my grooves where we're gonna bend it. We're gonna bend it. And this here is gonna be where it goes over my alternator and we have to still notch it here all right all right so i got my template made up i just got to make a few adjustments um i really don't like how this is not covering up my um bank so i'm going to go ahead and make this here straight across so to come down a little, little um longer and I'm going to probably trim off about a quarter inch off the back so it won't be up against my firewall there. So I won't scratch my paint, make no mistakes here. And other than that, that's really everything that I think I'm going to change. And then I go ahead and put it, transfer all this here to 18 gauge metal. Let's get to it. Right here, let's go ahead and get the tracing. Put this metal, I'm over at Counts because he got the brake, so I'm gonna use this brake to bend this.
show you where I put mud at. There was like a little bit of imperfections where I was hammering dolly in and everything. So we'll go ahead and let that dry. And we'll get the 80 grit out. And we'll sand it down. Hopefully we'll be able to get it in primer today. Alright. We are basically ready for some primer. This is uh, glazing putty. Uh, when it, we'll wipe this off. And now we'll go ahead and put about three good heavy coats of high build primer. We'll let this sit out in the sun. Um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and let it sit out the rest of the day. And we'll come back in the morning and we'll go ahead and sand it down. And if it needs it again, we'll um, prime it one more time and then we'll wet sand it. Alright, let's go ahead and prep it and get ready for some primer. Alright crew, so that's really, uh, I mean three really good coats man. I put two heavy coats on, so um, I'm going to go ahead and let that slide. I'm going to let this sit overnight. I'll probably put it out there in the sun the rest of the day. Let it harden up and then we'll come back. Tomorrow we'll wet sand it. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll sand it first. And um, if it doesn't look like you need another coat of primer since it's going to be on the inside of the hood. We'll go ahead and wet sand it, but we're going to finish this video today and I'll be back. Hey, you know, um, video time in a matter of seconds. I'll be back here first thing in the morning sanding on it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, crew. So, hey, it's the next uh, day, man, and we're going at it hard. First thing this morning, going to, we went on ahead already and painted the underside. I went on ahead and painted it black. Um, and then now we're going to go ahead and start standing on the engine cover and we're going to go ahead and do the glove box as well and we're going to get it down so we can get it ready for for paint so we'll go ahead and start out with uh sanding paper and i'm not going to continue showing you guys the whole process of sanding you guys seen me do it all before but i just want to let you know that we are building this engine cover for the 55 chevy shop truck guys and I just can't wait to put it in paint. And hopefully today we can probably put it in paint. So let's go ahead and get right into this video. And I'll turn you guys back on. You know, I'll, I'll make sure you a little bit of wet sanding. But I'll definitely turn you guys back on right before we paint. What you want to do, you want to take a soft block. When you're using your 400 grit. And I wrap it so I can use this sandpaper several times. So we'll let that dry. I'm gonna give it a good 15 minutes. Um, that way I know once I put my stripe on there, um, it will stick. So basically the next step is I'll go ahead and put my uh, stripe as far as my design. And um, then once we take that stripe up after we get through paint and everything, I have this off white stripe in between my colors. All right, they laid down very good. Alright, so let's go ahead and let this dry for about 15-20 minutes 
so it'll be good and hard and then we'll go ahead and lay our design back on to the template I think I got it. it. Took me a couple of tries, but um, like I said, this is a simple design for me. I don't want to overdo it. So now the next step is we'll paint everything gray with that um, gunmetal. That way it'll blend in really smooth. Um, I really just have to do here in this area, but I will, you know, I, I missed everything else. All right. Let's go ahead and shoot it. Alright, so it laid down good. I got um, two colors on there right now. My next step, as you see, I'm starting to cover up the inside. So I taped that off and I put some paper on it and then we'll cover, we'll paint everything else blue. Moment of truth, see how well we taped everything up. Go ahead and start taking it off. Bring you guys over here closer so you can see. I think it's pretty, it's gonna turn out decent. I know right there, I'm gonna have to touch it up. Like right up in here, I know I'm gonna have to touch it up. as I expected. bad we have to touch it up a little bit there let's see how this side turned out That's not that look good right there. All right, so I got a little touch up with the gray here. It's not too bad. Then I have a little bit of gray. I need to touch up or white right there. 
So I'm gonna let that dry really good. And of course, I had a spot here with the gray I will have to touch up. Other than that, man, she laid down good. Laid down really good. All right. Let's still let that cure for probably about another 15, 20 minutes. And we'll go ahead and put some clear on this baby. Very cool. guys so this is the final product man three coats three good wet coats of clear on there this is the engine cover for you guys are just now looking at the channel this is the engine the cover that goes on a 5.3 guys I want you guys to leave some major comments down below let me know what you think of this engine cover guys what would you have done different and hey Think about building one for yourself. And if you guys do build one for yourself, I want to see how it turned out, man. You guys know this is a staple, and this is what I use for all my 5.3s, man. Hey, all right, so I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me these last two days. We uh, made the template, how we made our design, how I put it in primer, we wet sanded it. And like I said, it only took two days. And you guys can do the same thing in your garage, man. At a scale of 1 to 10, I think it's a 10, man. So, anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Catch me on my next video. Hopefully, guys, if you guys really enjoy this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And make sure you cut your post notification bell on so you catch all the greatest and latest, man. So, like I tell everybody, guys, if you got a good cigar, a fast car, truck, smoke them if you got them, baby. CJ is out, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.